Arthur Schopenhauer says, Life swings like a pendulum, backward and forward, between pain and boredom. Arthur Schopenhauer was a renowned German philosopher known for his unconventional views on reality, the human condition, and the role of suffering in life. Despite being labelled as the sad prince of pessimism or messenger of misery, his works like The World as Will and Representation, The Two Fundamental Problems of Ethics and On the Basis of Morality offer unique insights into how we can live a more fulfilling life. At the core of his philosophy is the concept of the will, which he saw as the primary force behind all human behavior. Schopenhauer believed that the will drives our desires and needs, motivating us to act in the world. However, the will is also responsible for much of the suffering and dissatisfaction in life, since our desires are frequently frustrated and our goals remain unfulfilled. Alongside the concept of will, Schopenhauer also extensively explored the concept of boredom. He saw boredom as a natural consequence of the human condition, resulting from the constant repetition of desires and the resulting dissatisfaction. If left unchecked, boredom can lead to despair and a sense of meaninglessness. Which is why, in this video, we discuss six ways to avoid boredom from Schopenhauer's philosophy. By following these tips, we can cultivate a sense of purpose and engagement in our lives, preventing boredom from leading to a cycle of dissatisfaction and despair. Number 1. Appreciate the beauty of everyday life. Schopenhauer says, Every satisfaction he attains lays the seeds of some new desire so that there is no end to the wishes of each individual will. Schopenhauer suggests that boredom is an unavoidable aspect of the human experience, stemming from our unfulfilled desires and expectations. He believed that we humans are always in search of new experiences and stimulation to occupy our minds, but once these are obtained, the novelty quickly wears off, leaving us feeling bored and unfulfilled once again. This constant search for novelty and excitement can become a never-ending cycle that is both tiring and unfulfilling. For instance, suppose you've been eagerly anticipating a vacation for months, planning every detail of your trip, from flights to activities to do when you arrive. You finally reach your destination, have a great time exploring new places and trying new things, but after a few days, you start to feel bored and restless. According to Schopenhauer, this boredom and restlessness stems from our constant desire for new experiences and external sources of pleasure. To overcome this feeling of boredom, Schopenhauer advocated minimizing our desires and expectations and instead finding contentment in simple pleasures. Rather than constantly searching for new experiences and material possessions, we can discover joy by experiencing and appreciating the beauty of everyday life. Schopenhauer believed that experiencing beauty had a transformative effect on our psyche. It allows us to momentarily forget our individual desires and concerns, and instead become absorbed in the present moment. One way to apply this philosophy to our daily lives is by spending time in nature. Schopenhauer believed that nature is a source of great beauty, and by immersing ourselves in natural environments, we can connect with something larger than ourselves and experience wonder and awe. By cultivating mindfulness and presence in this way, we can develop a more reflective and contemplative attitude towards life, gaining a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. For example, when we take a moment to appreciate a beautiful sunset, we might feel a strong sense of amazement and admiration. This feeling of awe can encourage us to contemplate the beauty of the natural world, our place in it, and the purpose of our existence. Through reflection on these deeper questions, we can gain insights into our personal struggles and challenges, and find new ways of approaching and addressing them. In a world where many of us spend a lot of time indoors and in front of screens, making an effort to spend time in nature can be a way to appreciate its beauty and find relief from boredom. 
Schopenhauer also believed that creation and appreciation of works of art, such as music, literature and painting, help us transcend the mundane and connect with something greater than ourselves. He believed that works of art have the ability to communicate universal truths and emotions that aren't easily expressed through language. For example, a piece of music may convey a sense of longing or joy that's difficult to put into words, but that resonates deeply with the listener. By creating or appreciating works of art, we can escape the limitations of our individual experience and connect with a larger, more profound sense of reality. In our modern day world, we have countless opportunities to engage with art and culture, from visiting museums and galleries to attending concerts and theatrical performances. By making an effort to seek out these experiences and engage with them fully, we can appreciate the beauty of the arts and find relief from boredom. Overall, Schopenhauer recognized that suffering and boredom are inevitable parts of life. But through an appreciation of beauty, we can reduce our resilience on external sources of satisfaction and cultivate a more tranquil and fulfilled way of living. In today's world, where we're constantly bombarded with distractions and seeking stimulation, Schopenhauer's philosophy of appreciating beauty can help combat that feeling of boredom. Number two, focus on the present moment. In the words of Schopenhauer, the past and the future, considered apart from the consequences of their content, are empty as a dream, and the present is only the indivisible and unenduring boundary between them. Schopenhauer believed that one of the keys to avoiding boredom is to be focused on the present moment. He believed that boredom arises when we're not fully present and engaged with our surroundings and that we become disconnected from the present moment when we're preoccupied with worries about the future or regrets about the past. To illustrate this, let's say that you're at a concert but you're constantly checking your phone and thinking about what you're going to do after the show. As a result, you might feel bored and disconnected from the experience. However, if you put your phone away and focus on the performance and the atmosphere of the concert, you might find that you become more engaged and absorbed in the present moment. By being fully present and mindful of the experience, you might be able to appreciate the beauty of the music and the moment, which can provide a sense of fulfillment and contentment. Schopenhauer believed that the present moment is the only reality we have. The past is already gone and the future is uncertain. We can't change what has already happened in the past and we can't control what will happen in the future. Our past experiences and future expectations are mere projections of our mind that distracts us from the reality of the present moment. The only thing that we can control is our experience in the current instant for Schopenhauer, this is where our consciousness is focused and by fully engaging with it, we can find beauty and meaning even in the most mundane experiences. If you're walking down the street, for example, and feeling bored, you should try to focus on the sights and sounds around you. Instead of letting your mind wander or becoming lost in thoughts of the past or future, try to pay attention to the details of your surrounding. Notice the colors and textures of the buildings, listen to the sounds of traffic and people talking, and feel the sensation of the ground beneath your feet. Similarly, activities like washing dishes or sweeping the floor can become a meditative practice if we approach it with a sense of mindfulness and awareness. When we're completely absorbed in the present moment and our minds are free from distractions and worries, by focusing on the present moment in this way, Schopenhauer believed that we can learn to appreciate the simple pleasures of life and find joy in even the most ordinary experiences. He believed that this kind of mindfulness can help us to overcome boredom and find fulfillment in our daily lives. Number three, learn something new. Schopenhauer tells us that every man takes the limits of his own field of vision for the limits of the world. According to Schopenhauer, when we lack a clear sense of purpose or direction, we can become bored and disengaged from the world around us. We lose our sense of connection to the things that we once found meaningful or interesting. To avoid this, 
Schopenhauer suggests that we should constantly keep on learning and expand our knowledge. He viewed education as a way to enhance personal growth and development, believing that learning was inherently fulfilling and stressed the value of critical thinking and logical reasoning in gaining knowledge. In his book, The Art of Being Right, he urged people to question assumptions, challenge established ideas, and seek evidence to back their beliefs. Schopenhauer held the conviction that the acquisition of knowledge had the potential to furnish individuals with a profound comprehension of both the world and themselves. He maintained that exploring philosophy, literature and the arts could provide people with insights into the nature of reality and the human condition. For Schopenhauer, the pursuit of knowledge and ongoing learning was a vital element of human existence, that acquiring new knowledge helped people avoid monotony, improve their abilities and discover more profound significance in their lives. In our busy, modern world, many people simply don't have the time to engage in the pursuit of knowledge. Between work, family and other obligations, individuals may feel like they don't have the time to devote to learning new things. Also, our modern world is full of distractions such as social media, video games and streaming services. These distractions can make it difficult for individuals to focus on the pursuit of knowledge and can lead to boredom as a result. Overall, there are many factors that can contribute to individuals preferring boredom over the pursuit of knowledge. However, it's important to recognize the value of the pursuit of knowledge for personal growth and development and to make an effort to prioritize learning and education in our lives. Learning something new can be as overwhelming as it is exciting, but that needn't be the case. First, you need to identify what you want to learn. It can be a new skill, a new language, or anything that interests you. Think about what you're passionate about or something that can benefit you in your personal or professional life. Once you've identified what you want to learn, set a specific and achievable goal. Having a goal will help you stay motivated and focused throughout the learning process. Then, gather your resources. There are various resources available when learning something new, including online courses, books, tutors or evening classes, podcasts and videos. Research and gather resources that align with your learning style and preferences. Create a plan or a schedule that fits your lifestyle and learning pace. Break down your learning into manageable chunks and allocate time to practice and review. Learning something new requires constant practice, so make sure to schedule regular practice sessions and stick to your plan. Joining a community of learners that share your interests can be beneficial. You can exchange knowledge, ask for feedback and get support from others who are on the same journey as you. Remember that learning something new is a process and it requires patience and persistence. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, ask questions and experiment with different resources until you find what works for you. Number 4. Cultivate your interests According to Schopenhauer, music is the highest art and it is the most profound of all the arts. Schopenhauer was known for his interest in several hobbies and activities throughout his life. He was an avid reader and believed that reading was essential for intellectual growth and development. He read widely on a variety of subjects, including philosophy, literature and history. He was also a prolific writer and produced several books and essays throughout his lifetime. He saw writing as a way to clarify his own thoughts and ideas, as well as to communicate with others. Schopenhauer often played the flute for his own enjoyment and believed that music had a therapeutic effect on the mind and body. He enjoyed his long walks throughout the city and the countryside. For him, walking was a way to clear the mind and to connect with nature. According to Schopenhauer, engaging in a hobby that you enjoy is one of the best ways to overcome boredom, helping to keep one's mind active and engaged by providing a source of enjoyment. When a person is engaged in an activity they enjoy, they're fully immersed in the present moment and don't entertain any negative thoughts. Schopenhauer further believed that cultivating your interests and pursuing your passions 
can lead to a kind of self-discovery and creative expression that's unique to each individual. By tapping into this inner wellspring of creativity, you can achieve great things and make a unique contribution to the world. Hobbies can vary wildly from person to person, but the key is to find something that you truly enjoy and that provides a sense of purpose or accomplishment. This could include reading, writing, drawing, painting, playing music, gardening, cooking, or any number of other activities. Picking a hobby can be a fun and exciting process, but if you don't know where to start, it can also be overwhelming. If this is the case for you, we invite you to consider your interests. Think about what you enjoy doing in your free time. Do you like to read? Write, draw, or play music? Are you interested in sports, cooking, or gardening? Make a list of your interests and use this as a starting point for exploring potential hobbies. The important thing is to make time for your hobby or activity on a regular basis. This can help to create a sense of structure and routine in your life, as well as providing a source of enjoyment. By engaging in something that you truly love, you can help to overcome boredom and find greater meaning in your life. Number five, focus on your health. To quote Schopenhauer, health so far outweighs all external goods that a healthy beggar is truly more fortunate than a king in poor health. Schopenhauer suggests that health is so valuable that even a beggar who's healthy is more fortunate than an unwell king. This statement underscores the idea that health is more important than external factors such as wealth, social status, or material possessions in determining an individual's happiness, emphasizing the importance of physical activity, healthy habits, and a balanced lifestyle in promoting good health. Schopenhauer believed that good health was not only important for overall well-being, but also played a crucial role in avoiding boredom. According to Schopenhauer, boredom could arise from a lack of physical activity and an unbalanced lifestyle, but when people engage in regular physical activity, they feel more energetic and motivated, and their mood improves. This, in turn, helps them to stay focused and engaged, preventing boredom from setting in. To practice Schopenhauer's philosophy in our modern-day world, we can adopt several habits that promote a healthy and balanced lifestyle. We can make a habit of engaging in physical activity, such as going for a daily run or walk, practicing yoga, or going to the gym. We can make conscious choices about our food intake, such as reducing processed foods and increasing our intake of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. A balanced and nutritious diet not only helps to maintain physical health, but also has a positive impact on mental and emotional well-being. One can prioritize getting enough sleep and making sure we take breaks throughout the day to rest and recharge. Adequate rest helps to promote physical, mental, and emotional health and can prevent burnout and fatigue. By taking care of one's physical health, individuals could lead more fulfilling lives, free from negative emotions associated with boredom and other negative experiences. Number six, embrace solitude. In our final quote from Schopenhauer for this video, he says, we can only be entirely ourselves as long as we are alone. Therefore, whoever does not love solitude also doesn't love freedom, for only when we are alone are we free. Schopenhauer believed that from time to time, solitude is necessary for one to truly appreciate life and avoid the boredom that often comes with it. He believed that in order to truly appreciate the beauty of the world around us, we must first cultivate a deep appreciation for ourselves and our own inner worlds. Instead of constantly seeking external stimulation, we should, from time to time, use solitude as an opportunity to spend time alone, to reflect on our thoughts and feelings, and to explore our own interests and passions. He argued that when we're constantly surrounded by others, we become distracted by their interests, opinions, and activities, and we lose touch with our own inner selves, leaving us unable to fully appreciate the richness and complexity of life. 
In his view, those who are constantly seeking the approval of others or who are overly preoccupied with external distractions may find themselves constantly chasing after the next thrill or pleasure without ever experiencing true satisfaction. On the other hand, those who value solitude and introspection are able to develop a deeper sense of meaning and purpose in their lives. They're able to appreciate the beauty of nature, art and music, and to find joy and fulfillment in the simple pleasures of everyday life. For example, imagine a person who's always busy socializing, going out with friends, attending parties and events. While they may initially feel happy and engaged with their social life, over time they may start to feel a sense of emptiness and restlessness. They may find that their conversations with friends lack depth and meaning and that they're always searching for the next exciting event or experience to distract them from their inner thoughts and feelings. In contrast, a person who values solitude may choose to spend their free time reading, writing or pursuing hobbies that allow them to engage with their own thoughts and ideas. They may find that by spending time alone, they're able to discover new interests and passions and to develop a deeper sense of self-awareness and inner peace. To fully appreciate the benefits of solitude, it's essential to eliminate external distractions. Schopenhauer's advice on finding solitude suggests disconnecting from technology by turning off your phone and logging out of social media. This way, you can avoid being sidetracked by external stimuli and concentrate on your thoughts and emotions which can help you avoid boredom and gain a more profound appreciation for life. In short, Schopenhauer believed that solitude is not something to be feared or avoided, but rather a necessary component of a fulfilling life. By taking the time to connect with our inner selves and explore our own interests and passions, we can cultivate a deeper sense of meaning and purpose in our lives. So the next time you find yourself feeling restless or uninspired, consider taking a break from the constant stimulation of the outside world and give yourself the gift of solitude. You may just discover an entirely new world of beauty and wonder that was waiting to be uncovered within yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to check out our full Philosophies for Life playlist. And for more videos to help you find success and happiness using ancient philosophical wisdom, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.